are time for the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Elton John's soundtrack to the animated movie Nomeo and Juliet opens Friday, uh, the soundtrack being released today. Interestingly enough, Hello, Hello, his duet with Lady Gaga will apparently only be featured in the film and as a solo version by Elton on the soundtrack. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, something there, fishy there. Uh, Justin Bieber's bodyguard, Kenneth Hamilton, has been given a desk appearance ticket, which requires him to appear in a New York City criminal court on a date yet to be set. He allegedly roughed up a photographer who claims he has since suffered lower back pain. Reps for both Glee actress Diana Argon and her 20-year-old actor boyfriend Alex Pettifer are denying an Us magazine story suggesting they're engaged. They apparently met on the set of I Am Number 4, which opens February 18th. Does somebody think they Glee loped? <laughs> that was a stretch. That was a bit of a stretch. It's going to work her way around town today. Uh, former My Name is Earl actress Jamie Presley has pleaded not guilty to DUI over that incident January 6th in Santa Monica, even though her blood alcohol registered three times the legal limit. 35-year-old sometimes actress Tara Reid claims she's really busy these days, but I want to warn you what she's busy doing. She's doing American Pie 4 as well as Big Lebowski 2. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> There's an embarrassing YouTube video of actor Charlie Sheen's most recent uh, booze dope babes bender, and it's been taken down by Warner Brothers due to copyright claims. Oh, oh sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Simon Cowell wants his American version of X Factor to include controversy, vocal groups, not just soloists, and maybe Paula Abdul. Cowell says he's spoken to Paula, and she knows that he's a big fan, and he says he's always said at some point they were going to be working together, but he says he has to take everyone's opinions into account, including the show's other producers and the Fox Network. One thing he does know for sure is that the winner of The X Factor will get $5 million record deal, which breaks down to $1 million per year for five years. Auditions for The X Factor start March 27th in Los Angeles, and the show premieres in the fall. For celebrating a birthday today, you share the state with actor Nick Nolte. He's 70 today. John Grisham is 56, and Vince Neal of Motley Crue is 50. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.